Hi, I'm Paul and the guy in front is my mate Rob. Come along with us on our e-bikes as we explore the very rugged and remote western coast of Tasmania. Yeah, Paul, fantastic, fantastic stuff. So he's currently swapped it over to the roll-off setup on there, and he's still using the same sprocket, chain, and front chain ring without any wear going on. He says he just loves a quiet and trouble-free operation. There's no maintenance needed on this bike, apart from a $25 oil change, which you can just do on the hub. No tuning, just keep the cables in good condition and enjoy the ride. This is uh, Rob, and he's built a custom Reader EUN60. Talk us through the details, Chris. It's got a 4.8 rear tire on it, so it's amazing for climbing and you know shock absorption. It's got a three-inch front tire on there. And what I like about this is he's got that 14-speed roll-off rear hub in there. So as you know, with the e-bikes and stuff, you get quite a lot of wear going on with the cassette and chains. And Rob is saying, this is my new build for exploring West Coast Tasmania, where the terrain is beaches, soft sand tracks, and rocky headlands. This thing handles really well, steers, jumps, and absorbs big hits brilliantly. The first thought many people have when they see an e-mountain bike is that it defeats their purpose of cycling. Well, if that purpose includes fun, pleasure and fitness, then they probably should try one. The issue with many e-bike sceptics is that their thinking has not yet evolved to match the technology available today that will allow them to enjoy life even more. What is important is that you enjoy riding. An e-bike allows you to explore, escape, and take the fun factor to another level, to the power of two. So off your butt, on your bike, go and escape, go and explore, explore new trails, explore new grounds, and have fun. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>